Hello, today's demonstration is Brayer paint, uh, painting, Brayer painting. Got tongue tied there. I'm painting with the Brayer. Um, I already did a short demo of this. This is going to be more involved. I've already set up my larger sheet of Bristol paper with some random scribbling. I think it was, uh, there was frustration involved. So that was kind of this frenetic line. So I'm going to do a different color palette. I picked colors that I normally would not pick. I picked, this is Charvan brand paint. I picked an anise green, which is, should be transparent. I picked an absinthe green and I picked a Provence green. So I'm going to try and layer all these paints. And then I think I'm going to bring in probably, um, the paintbrush, maybe some other tools. So here goes. I'm going to start with my lightest transparent color. If I can get this, yes, I got it open. The tube of paint open. Okay. I'm going to review again. I'm using a smaller brayer. Um, I would just tap it in. I'm guessing, wow, that's probably like a quarter of a teaspoon. Get this going. Yeah, I'm going to need more. So I'm bringing it up slowly. And I'm going back and forth, sort of lifting, light touch. And I'm looking for even paint distribution. Okay. And then just going to start rolling. I have to remember to periodically reload my brayer with even paint. I am going to show you uneven at a certain point, but it's important to how to roll it out evenly. I'm not even really thinking about composition right now. That's quite transparent. Now I'm going to go to this absinthe green. Same thing, just starting with a little bit. And paint will mix. It will mix as I go from one color to the next. I'm fine with that. Okay, this is still fairly transparent as well. And it's good to do these... Um, challenge yourself and mix colors that you might um, not normally mix because you'll get unexpected things like I'm kind of happy with this green is usually not easy for me and I'm kind of liking this okay so it seems like I have a composition that things are kind of flowing this way now I'm going to go with my darker Provence green which I have a feeling this is going to be somewhat transparent too. Okay, it's all fairly transparent. So now let's see, I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take this light phthalo green and I'm gonna put some blobs. I'm putting some blobs or some dots on my brayer. 
Okay, fingers crossed. Now I'm going to roll. I'm hoping I'm going to get uh, a pattern. Okay, yep, it worked. So if I want to get smaller repeating dots, that would be fun to play with. You could use a Q-tip if you wanted to. You could play with thicker blobs. Okay, and what's fun when you get these really thick blobs, then I can scratch th uh, through some of them, like Scraffito. See the paint underneath. Okay, now I'm going to do some palette knife work. I'm going to bring in some orange. This is kind of transparent too. If I press really hard, it's going to remain transparent. If I go lighter, a little bit more opaque. Not sure. I love that color with the green. It's feeling very uh, 1970s. Okay, maybe I'll come back to this thalo. Push that back a little bit since I'm not loving it. Just letting the paint mix right there. Going back to thicker globs of this absinthe green. So maybe I'm going to make it thicker down in here, leave it more transparent up here. That seems to be what's happening. I'm just going to go with that. So I'm having to go much uh, lighter touch with this palette knife so things remain thicker and not as transparent. Doing a little scraffito here and then with my flat palette knife scraping through to reveal some of the underpainting. Okay, so it needs something more. It's lacking a little pop. I have not used this yet. This is quinacridone red. This is a new paint to me. Very pretty. And I'm gonna come in with a flat brush and put in some smaller pops of this color. Okay, so I think, I mean, there's, this really needs to dry, and then I could see coming back in, hmm, maybe with the darker blue. Okay, I can't help myself. I happen to have it right here. I'm going to go to this Windsor blue, which I used earlier. That's really nice with that um, quinacridone red. And then once this dries, I can drag over 
that and do some dry brushing. Just doing dry brushing right now with what's left over on my brush. Okay, I think that's plenty for now. So I started with the brayer and then building thicker layers of paint on top.